Now with the help of iOS 18 beta 2 and Mac OS Sequoia beta 2, iPhone mirroring is more easier than earlier. Now, how to start iPhone mirroring and what are the steps involved in that before getting into that part, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now before explaining how to do iPhone mirroring, you have to make sure that both the devices are running on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth or basically uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi should be enabled on both the devices. After that, again, make sure that both the devices are running on same Apple ID because the, if there are two different Apple IDs, then iPhone mirroring won't work. So keep these things in mind and the main thing is that your iPhone should run iOS 18 beta 2 and your Mac should run Mac OS Sequoia beta 2. If you are running beta 1 version then it is not possible and currently only developer beta is available. So after making sure that everything is proper then all you have to do is you just have to go in launchpad over here and look for iPhone mirroring option or else you can find that option by default in you know dock or else uh, you know you can simply press command and spacebar and look for iPhone mirroring. Now once you open iPhone mirroring this is the screen you will get now you can quick access to uh, iPhone apps you can view and act on notification that will be on your Mac desktop and no need to reach for your iPhone so you can read out these things just make sure you press continue option and then it will ask you to unlock your iPhone. Now you can see, I have got the lock screen over here. So enter the password over here. You will get this screen, which says iPhone mirroring is ready to use. You just have to select get started option over here. And again, you can see iPhone mirroring is locked. Touch ID or enter Mac login for PS to connect. So you can enter your password over here or else you can also use fingerprint. And now you can see iPhone is in use. So when your device is locked like this, iPhone mirroring will basically start and you can, you know, move this screen wherever you want and you can keep it on one side, you can keep it on the other side, you can keep it wherever you want. Now currently you can see I can access my iPhone and my iPhone is currently locked. So I can swipe between the pages like this. Again, if you want to access any application, let's say if I want to open app store, I can just simply tap on that application and I can open that particular app. Now, if you want to go to home screen, uh, there is no swipe gesture for home screen. You can use this home uh, bar over here. You can tap on that and you will be able to go to the home screen. Now, uh, again, if I go in settings, I can access few things over here. I can go in any option. If I want to go in general, I can go in that. I can, you know, change uh, anything if I want to uh, directly from my Mac. So there is no need to open your iPhone settings and do the changes. You can directly, uh, you know, make the changes from here. Again, to go back on home screen, press this home bar over here and you're good to go. Now, if you want to access the search bar, you can just simply swipe with two fingers, swipe down and you will be able to access the search bar. You can, uh, you know, search uh, whatever thing you want. Now there are a few things which you cannot access from iPhone mirroring. Now if I try to open camera application over here, it will show me a pop-up that iPhone camera is not available for Mac. So I cannot use iPhone camera over here. No matter what I try, you can see, it will just show me the option, but it won't access the camera. So yeah, we cannot use camera. And also there are a few limitations. If I go in phone application over here, and if I try to make a call to any uh, you know contact over here, it won't allow me to make a call. So yeah, even phone application uh, is not possible to use in this iPhone mirroring. But yeah, other things like uh, accessing any particular application is possible. Now again, there are a few limitations like uh, I cannot access the control center of my iPhone over here on the iPhone mirroring. And also, uh, I won't be able to access notification uh, panel or notification center over here in the iPhone mirroring. To check out the notification, I can simply open my uh, max notification panel and I can check out all the notifications which are received on my iPhone over here in the Mac. So yeah, there are few limitations. Now the next thing is if you want to visit recent application page, you can point your pointer over here at the top and you can select this icon. If I tap on that, it will display the applications which I have, you know, kept open in the background. So if you want to close it, you can close it from here like this with the swipe gesture. And let's say if I open any one particular application like this, 
and if i want to go to the home screen either i can use this home bar or else i can use this particular icon over here if i tap on that uh, it will take me to the home screen so these are few things uh, which are accessible in your iphone mirroring and again one more thing if you go on iphone mirroring over here and if you go in settings option you get two options over here require mac login to access iphone uh, if you have selected ask every time then whenever you start iphone mirroring it will ask you but if you want uh, your mirroring to start automatically then you can select this automatically authenticate you can enter your password over here and just simply select okay so from next time whenever you uh, use iphone mirroring it won't ask you each and every time when you connect now how to exit iphone mirroring so either you can close iphone mirroring from here or else you can simply unlock your iphone and iphone mirroring will stop working so yeah this is how simple it is to you know use iphone mirroring on your mac device now even after doing each and everything properly if you are not able to access iphone mirroring then what to do then you can just simply go in settings option make sure the apple id is same on both the devices and go in general option and go in airplay and continuity and over here make sure that in iphone mirroring your mac name is displayed because if it is not displayed then you won't be able to you know do iphone mirroring so make sure apple id is also same and wi-fi and bluetooth is turned on so yeah that's pretty much it for today's video guys if you find this video informative don't forget to subscribe i will see you all in the next one thank you